Do you want to get in shape but don't have the time? Do you feel anxious about starting in the gym because you believe that others might be judging you? Maybe you just don't want to commit to a monthly fee in a fixed location because you are traveling a lot. Or you just simply want to save money. You should consider getting some resistance bands and taking your own time with your workout in the comfort of your own home. Keep watching to find out the best workouts you could be doing with your resistance bands. Believe it or not, muscles are not bothered by the type of forces that are causing them to do work, which in turn produces muscle growth. I personally like to go to the gym, but on days when I lack the sufficient time to invest into going to the gym, or if I'm traveling, I like to utilize my resistance bands. This isn't a video discussing the science of resistance bands versus conventional weights. There are plenty of highly educated people out there with much more authority on that topic than I. Today, I wish to show you the workouts I do to keep in shape and which muscle groups these target. If you still haven't purchased your resistance bands, consider using my affiliate links in the description below. You would be helping this channel grow and for that, I will be very grateful. Thank you. The legs day is usually the most tiring for me, simply because I weigh a lot. No, it's mostly because the weight you are working with, which is your body, weighs more than the weights we usually use for the other body parts. As such, this is the reason why I do a legs day with no other muscle groups. With that being said, when doing a workout from home, we are limited to the types of leg workouts we can and need to do. And I wish to provide you with qualitative compilation of sets as opposed to every possible workout you could do. Not to say it's not beneficial to mix up your workout. However, the following are my personal favorites, quick and easy to do. The most basic way for you to get a leg workout at home is to simply do squats. However, depending on how you do them depends on the impact on the body. Squats in general are very effective and do not require the resistance band at all. However, the use of resistance bands can apply additional work for the muscles and muscle growth. What you might like to try is doing squats using hips and glutes bands. Some people call these booty bands. It's because uh, they get you that booty. Place the bands just above the knee and perform your squat. You can get different resistance of these bands to increase over time or to mix up your workout routine. Likewise, you can incorporate your regular resistance bands by putting the band on the floor and moving your feet upward to increase resistance. Loop the resistance bands behind your back and squat in this way. To work out your calves, you can simply do calf raises. Likewise, you can use the resistance bands to add additional weight to this exercise. But please, please be careful with this one. The number of times the resistance band has flicked up and slapped me in the face. Just make sure the bands aren't too close to the end of your shoe. You can also do lunges with or without the resistance bands to mix it up a bit. And that is all the sets I do at home using my resistance bands. I do hope you found this video useful. See you in the next one.